we're back. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Peak Performance OP. And uh, we'll get right in and take a look. First thing we have here is our OP resource that you get just for attending. Everyone who shows up is going to get one of these. And uh, this time around we have the Master Strategist tokens. We have our reference card here. It costs 10 points. At the start of the game, you place six Master Strategist tokens beside your ship cards. During the activation phase, instead of performing a normal action, any of the ships in your fleet may perform the following action. Place a Master Strategist token beside your ship. While it's tokens beside your ship, treat it as if it were an evasive, scan, battle stations, or a target lock token. You may use this token as you would any of these tokens. Remove it from the game if it's spent. During the end phase, place any unused Master Strategist tokens back beside your ship card to use again later. When using a Master Strategist token as a target lock, you may only spend it to reroll your attack dice. It does not count as having a target lock uh, with regards to secondary weapons. Only one upgrade card on each ship can trigger its ability from this token. On a round that a ship uses this action, that ship may still use an evasive scan, battle station, or target lock action as a free action if possible. And then on the back, we have our basic uh, rules for using resources that you can only have one per fleet and so on. It's an interesting resource with some of the better ones out there getting cycled out. It's definitely a uh, contender. 10 points is a little steep for what it does in my opinion considering what uh, kind of value we got for 5 points on some of the older resources. Then again a few of those were a little overpowered so take that or leave it how you want. Definitely the ability to put a token beside your ship and use it for any of the 4 major actions is a bonus what you choose on the fly what you want to use. And uh, if you don't use them, they go back to the pile and you can use them again later. So that's a nice aspect of it as well. It's an interesting resource and uh, I think we're going to see it more as time goes on and some of those older ones that are a little bit better get cycled out of uh, use. The actual scenario for the uh, Peak Performance OP is pretty self-explanatory. The uh, game's played as a normal game, opponents set up on opposite sides. The real difference is that if any of your ships are eliminated from the game, since this is actually a simulation, you take the ship and you put it on top of its ship card, and at the beginning of the next planning phase, you can put that ship on your edge of the table and bring it back onto the field. Each time a ship's been eliminated, you put a critical token on top of the ship, and it has one less hull for each critical token on there. The real complicated part that uh, confused a lot of people is the way the scoring is done. Because it's a simulation, the scoring is actually calculated throughout the game. And every time you actually hit someone, there's a chart depending on how much damage you do. And you get bonus points. So it did kind of bog down the game a little bit in that respect. Is that you basically have to keep track of every single shot fired in the game. To see who did what damage and who scored what points. The chart's broken down into four levels. Level 1 and 2 are pretty basic. Level 1 is just for any hit that involves damaging a shield. Level 2 is any hit that damages a hull. Level 3 is any damage that inflicts at least one critical to a hull. And level 4 is for destroying a ship. Now each one, level 1, 2, and 3, is worth one extra point. Level 4 is worth a point per damage it required to destroy the ship minus the critical tokens that you have lowering their hull value if they've respawned. So basically if a ship has four hull value and you blow it up, you're going to get four points. If a ship has four hull value and it's been destroyed once and has one critical token on its ship card, then when you destroy it again, you only get three points for it. There's also a plus five point bonus for every critical token on your opponent's ships. Basically every time you kill the ship you're going to get a bonus 5 points at the end. When you're figuring out your your uh, surviving fleet points at the game, any ship that's been destroyed and got a uh, critical token on its ship card does not count as surviving 
even if it's still on the table at the end of the game, because it was destroyed at one point throughout the game. There is no early winning these games. Everything goes to time, and whoever has the most points at the end is uh, the winner. For winning the whole event, you're going to take home a uh, Sakharov Federation uh, Type 7 shuttle. It's kind of an interesting ship in its own right. First time we've seen a shuttle, depending on when you're seeing this. And uh, they have a lot of cool new abilities, and I'm sure you've probably seen them on the table by now. But I'm going to do a standalone video for that, so check that out when you get a chance. That's it for this one, and we'll see you in the next video.